Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can set up Gmail SMTP as the SMTP server of your .NET Nook website. So here we have a .NET Nook development site, a dev site, a standard site. And I'm going to log into the backend as super account, as super user. Now from here, I can go to host, host settings. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a host email address. So I'm just going to put this as my own email address. Now, if we scroll down, we can see some settings called SMTP server settings. Usually when you install a fresh new uh, installation of, of DNN, those settings will come blank, will come just like this. No server for SMTP, no settings set up. Now, if you do need your uh, .NET site to send notifications about new user registration, to send welcome message to users, to basically send communication via email in general, you need to set up those SMTP settings. This way, it, the way it is right now, it won't do anything. For instance, if I try to click test right now, it will fail because there's no SMTP information set here. Let, let's see. Give it a try. So there's an error because there's no SMTP information set. Now, this test, what it does is if this SMTP information is set up correctly, it will send a test email to this account, to the account that is set under host email. So, our goal here today is to, to be able to set up the SMTP server as uh, it, to use the, the free Gmail SMTP server. Now, you may want to try before you go with Gmail, you may want to try to see if your hosting provider can give you that information. If they can, perfect, you should use their information. If they cannot, then you, you have the available uh, free Gmail SMTP that you can set up and that's what you're going to do now. So, the SMTP server for the Gmail uh, SMTP is this one, smtp.gmail.com. Uh, under SMTP authentication, it should be set to basic. Under SMTP enable SSL, it should be checked. And SMTP username and password is your own Gmail username and Gmail password. In this case, I'm gonna I'm gonna put mine. And that is dnnhero at gmail.com and my password. And after that, I can click update. Now, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to send a test email via the website to the host email address that is set up that I have added here. So I'm going to scroll all the way down. I'm going to expand SMTP um, server settings and I'm gonna just hit test and see what happened. Okay, okay, perfect. So I didn't see it. Okay, so email sent successfully. Now what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna check my inbox to see if the email is really there. Okay, so the email has come. It's from the Gmail account that I have set up and it's to the email address that is set up as the host email address. It's an empty email, but the subject says uh, .NET Nook SMTP configuration test. So this is the test came through and that's basically it. This is how you can set up your .NET Nook website to use SMTP, the free SMTP from Gmail. Now you may not want to send too much, too many emails from this account in a daily basis. I mean, I think that if you go over a thousand or two thousand emails from this account, you may be flagged as spam by Google 
and they may even block your account. But if that's not the case, if you're just sending out, I mean, not over a thousand or two thousand emails a day, you should be fine to use SMTP from Gmail with your .NET Nook website. Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.